Hi, Brent Tech here with Tech is Made Simple. I've been posting some videos over the last couple of months regarding the floating desktop web widget that Microsoft is trying out and testing and experimenting with in the Microsoft Edge Canary web browser. And recently, Microsoft has updated the web widget with the Windows 11 micro material effect, the fluent design, rounded corners, and some other new handy useful features. And to try out the floating desktop web widget, you need to be running and testing and using the Microsoft Edge Canary version of uh, uh, Edge, which is a pre-release unstable version of the browser used for testing and experimenting. Now to enable the feature, we just head up to our, our menu in the top right. You click on settings and on the left in the settings menu, you will see web widget. And if we click on that, it says get search and personalize news anytime. Web widget lets you search and browse the web, see news headlines, check the weather and more without opening a full browser window. So it's very similar to the news and interests feed, the taskbar widget that is also found in Windows 10. And here you can launch the web widget straight from this settings page. Automatically open web widget when the computer starts. This is off by default. So if you wanted to launch when you boot up your PC, you can just toggle that on. And you can also personalize the web widget feed straight from the settings page as well. Now I've enabled the feature already. And if we just click on the floating widget, that'll open the web widget. And we can clearly see since the last video I posted a month or so ago that there have been some updates and the Windows 11 look and feel is clearly prevalent. Some rounded corners, the micro effect. And also we have some useful little add-ons now and features that have been placed on the right-hand side of the web widget. And as mentioned, it, it, you know, it operates very similar to the news and interests feed where it gives you your top stories, your topics of interests. And if you click on each story, it'll just take you to a more in-depth version of that story in the browser itself. And then on the uh, right here now, we, MSN is the default. And then you can also get now you have Bing, which will take you to the uh, Bing search engine, the homepage. You can also go straight to your Microsoft Outlook email client. As, and so these are just basically handy little shortcuts that have been added now. You can also go to LinkedIn, uh, you know, if you use that. And also you can add your own shortcuts as well by entering the URL and then just naming it, which will give you some handy little shortcuts straight from the web widget itself. And then, yeah, we have our profile picture. You can add a guest, your profile settings, your uh, rewards, and then your little settings and more. If we click on that, the default layout is vertical and you also get a search only layout, which just basically gives you a more of a search bar to the widget. And you can also pin it. So if you have it, say, as an example, on the left, more to the left of your screen, you can pin it. It'll pop over and pin itself to the left of your desktop. And if you unpin it, and if I drag it over to the right, if it's more on the right and you pin it, it'll pin itself to the right of your uh, desktop as well. And then you can also enable auto hard, which basically just gives you a little taskbar really on the right here to those quick shortcuts. And if this is your type of thing, I think this will be quite handy as um, you know, a little uh, panel here on the right of your desktop. And then I just wanna unpin that. And then obviously when you minimize it, it pops the floating widget back on your desktop and you can move this widget anywhere on your desktop um, for easy access. And obviously just clicking on that opens the widget itself. And then the uh, actual floating widget, um, you have some options. If you right click on it, um, this will take you over to the settings page back uh, where we started, where you can, um, you know, just change the when it starts, personalize and so on. And also you can actually um, disable and close the web widget. Uh, you can disable uh, the floating button and you can actually close the web widget itself straight from this little floating button as well. So I just wanted to update you. The floating desktop web widget has received, you know, those um, some Windows 11 uh, material redesigns, visual redesigns, and also some handy little features 
which you know if this is uh, something you use i think would be handy and microsoft has actually put quite a lot of work into this so this looks like there's a strong possibility that the web widget will actually roll down to the stable version of microsoft edge in the near future so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one